Hey, welcome to my homework rewards. We are doing a question today for grade eight, and it's from the Pearson Math Makes Sense 8 textbook, section 8.4, question seven. The question reads, a boat travels due east at an average speed of 10 kilometers an hour. I'm going to use a highlighter as I read to highlight my important information. So 10 kilometers an hour for that east boat. Okay, and then at the same time, another boat is going north, and that boat is going 12 kilometers an hour north. So I'm just going to do that right there. Now, my question is, after two hours, two hours, how far apart are the boats? Okay, now, if my boats are going to be ending, let's assume that one ends. Let's just change that. Let's assume that my boat going north will end here, my nice little diagram, and my boat going east will end here, okay, after two hours, let's say. The distance between them is going to be a straight line going from there to there, okay. Now, what does this look like to us? It looks like a right-angled triangle, okay. And what do we know about right-angled triangles is we can use the Pythagorean theorem to solve them. So we are going to draw a right angle triangle just over here for ourselves. Okay, so the first thing we need to figure out is this boat that's going east, it's going 10 kilometers an hour. So that means if it's going every hour, it's going 10 kilometers. We want to know how far it's gone after two hours. So we're just going to multiply that by two. That's going to give us how far that boat has gone from its start after two hours. So that means that that boat going east has gone 20 kilometers and I can label the bottom part of my triangle, the bottom leg as 20. Okay, I'm gonna leave my units out for now. I'll put them back in later. Now, my boat going north here, the pink, is going 12 kilometers an hour. Okay, kind of looks like a seven. I'll make it into a 12. And that's going to go for two hours. So we're just going to do 12 times 2, which is 24 kilometers. Okay, and now I will label that this boat has gone north 24 kilometers. Now, my, oops, sorry about that. My distance, I'm going to highlight in red here between my boats is the hypotenuse of my triangle. So I'm going to just label it as C. Now we want to know, let's recall our Pythagorean theorem. Okay, Pythagorean theorem says that the two legs of a triangle squared and added together of a right angle triangle will give us the hypotenuse or the longest side squared. Okay, so if we have our two legs, we'll say that this is our A, this is our B, then we're just going to replace the letters in my Pythagorean theorem with, sorry about that, with the numbers here. So A squared is going to be a 20 squared. Okay, and my B is my boat that was going north. Okay, so that'll be 24 squared. And that's gonna give us C squared, okay? Now what does the squared mean? Okay, what a squared means is we're just multiplying that number by itself. So if I have 20 squared, I'm just going to do 20 times 20. Okay, and if you don't want to use a calculator, an easy way to do this, well, let's do our 2 times 2. We know that's 4. Okay, and I'm going to have two zeros just right on the end. Okay, that works for numbers that end in 0. So that's a quick little trick, or you can use a calculator. So 20 squared is 400. Okay. And then my 24 squared, again, that just means 24 times 24. Okay, I'm going to use my calculator for that one. Okay, but it is 576. Okay, equals to my C squared. Now I just want to add these together. So it's 400 plus 576, that's easy to add. It is 976. Okay, and that is what is my C squared. So that is the square of the length of this long side here, or what we want to find out is the distance between the boats. 
So how am I going to find this out? Well, I need to know what a square root is. Okay, if I know what a square number is, then I need to know what a square root is. So if I have a number squared, okay, say I have 2 squared, that means it's 2 times 2, and that gives me 4. Okay, well I can also say that the square root of 4, okay, is 2. So what I use square root is just to find what number times itself is going to give me this number here. Okay, so what number times itself, C, is going to give me 976. Okay, well, I just 976 under my square root is going to give me that number. Okay, that, just like here. And then if I wanted to use my calculator, I would just punch that in, hit my square root button. Okay, and that's going to give me a long decimal, I'm going to round to two decimal places, okay, 31.24 or decimal 24, okay, and that's about the length of C, okay. I could have also estimated this, okay, I could have said, well, I know it's going to be bigger than 24 because 24 squared was 576, and then I know it's going to be less than 40, okay, because 40 squared, if I use my trick, from up here, okay, 40 times 40, well, 4 times 4 is 16, and I put my zeros back on, just like here, okay? And that's way too big, that's much bigger than 976, okay? So I know it's going to be somewhere in there, but this is a decimal, so probably using a calculator is the easiest bet for us. So 31.24 is my answer, which means after 2 hours, Okay, after two hours, the boats are, excuse my writing here, <laughs> the boats are 31.24. Oh, sorry about that. Let's just fix that quickly. 31.24, but it's not enough to just write 31.24. Okay, I need to remember what my units were. So I'm going to look back at my question, and my units were both in kilometers. So I'm going to make sure I put that in there. It's 31.24 kilometers. I don't know why that keeps happening. Apart. Okay. And that's my answer. Thanks for watching today's video. More lessons and videos and practice questions at myhomeworkrewards.com. And hope you enjoyed. Take care.